Amy Winehouse may have had a rough couple of months, but it seems she's still on top when it comes to music. Her album, Back to Black, was biggest selling album of the year in the UK. It sold a whopping 1.85 million copies. Leona Lewis got the year's best selling single. Bleeding Love racked up sales of 788,000 in just 10 weeks. And Leona's debut album, Spirit, sold 1.59 million copies in seven weeks. Enough for second place in the album chart. Take that with fourth with Beautiful World. The Kaiser Chiefs came seventh and the Arctic Monkeys came in at number eight with their album, Favourite Worst Nightmares. Yeah, we've got a month off for Christmas, so we're going to chill out. Police investigating a machete attack on sugar babe Amel's boyfriend say they've released a man on bail. Amel's been at the bedside of Freddie Fuller since the attack on Christmas Eve. He was found lying in a pool of blood with serious injuries to his limbs. He was attacked while enjoying a night out with Amel and some other friends in Hampshire. He underwent a successful emergency six-hour operation in Surrey. Father of Soul, James Brown's children are challenging his will. That's according to court documents. Most of the singer's money was left to trusts set up to educate disadvantaged young people. But some of his children claim three of Brown's former advisers convinced the singer to create the trust so that they could profit from managing them. Their lawyer said the children had discovered earlier wills drafted by their father, which cast doubt on whether he wanted most of his money left to charity. And controversial phone-ins are back. BBC premium rate phone-in competitions will be gradually reintroduced to the BBC in January. The corporation suspended all contests in July after an inquiry unearthed several faked phone-ins. The first one back will be goal of the month or match of the day and pop master on Radio 2. But the difference is they'll now be capped at 15 pence, except for charity appeals like Comet Relief. Director General Mark Thompson said the new capping policy is designed to make premium rate calls less confusing to the public. But the bad news is it does mean charities will now receive slightly less money.